With follow-up, never make the person feel guilty. Never make them feel bad. Never remind them of the fact that they didn't follow through on their promises in the past. That sounds like this. Hey, Bob, you had said you were going to get that contract over to us by last week. I know there was a holiday weekend and everything in there, but I'm not seeing it on my end. Is there a miscommunication there? Of course there's a miscommunication. You don't have the contract. But when I say to Bob, I don't have the contract, is there a miscommunication there? All I'm doing is creating an adversarial relationship. This is why I'm focus telling you. Focus on getting the deal moved forward. For sure, Bob. Focus on getting the deal moved forward, right? Everything it's else is irrelevant. Totally. And me teaching you a lesson that you didn't make good on your promise, guess who's going to teach you that? The marketplace, your spouse your kids, if you're a person that goes through life not doing what you said you were going to do, the world will punish you. I don't need to be one of the people to punish you. I want to do business with you. I don't want to teach you a lesson. And there's a big difference here. Teaching you a lesson sounds like this. Hey, Bob, it's, it's Matt Easton. We were supposed to be on that Zoom call to go over the contracts. I, I didn't see you. Just hoping everything's okay on your end right? Versus, hey, Bob, it's Matt Easton. Missed you on the Zoom call at 10. Calling to see if it makes sense to just move forward with the contracts. I'm on my mobile, 720-660-3202. Unemotional. We're going to go ahead and land on the Hudson, right? Sully Sullivan. We're going to, do you want to run away at Teterboro? Negative. We'll be on the Hudson, right? Hey, Bob. And now this is another thing. Notice if Bob missed the meeting to review the documents, I'm not going to sell Bob. Maybe Bob doesn't want, maybe Bob never wanted to review the documents. By the way, there's plenty of people that want to do business with you and don't want to review the documents. I'm going to ask for the thing that I want, the contract signed, and give Bob an opportunity to go, no, sorry I missed that contract review meeting. We really need to do that before I can sign the contract. If Bob says that, then I'll say this, got it, does it make sense to get another review meeting on the calendar? Sure. What's the best time for that, Bob? 1030. 